The eruption of Kilauea Volcano on Hawaii Island is ongoing and remains confined to the summit caldera. Lava is flowing from vents on the northwest side of the crater, feeding a growing lava lake below. U.S. Geological Survey Hawaiian Volcano Observatory scientists are keeping watch and are capturing some colorful close-ups of the remarkable activity. As of Wednesday afternoon, the lava lake was measured at 636 feet deep and is perched a couple of yards above its edge. A rainbow added to the scenery on Wednesday. HV those scientists are monitoring the ongoing eruption from within an area of Hawaii Volcanoes National Park that remains closed to the public for safety reasons. Scientists documented the west vent activity and wrote about what they observed. Like this spattering from the top of a small cone that was plastered on the northwest wall of the summit crater. On Thursday morning, lava was presumed to be flowing through crusted channels to the lake below and also appeared to be feeding a small photogenic dome fountain. Scientists say the dome fountain is probably from a submerged portion of the vent. Later in the day, HVO noted that the dome fountain was no longer visible. The scientists are also gathering images from a farther distance. The U.S. Geological Survey Landsat 8 acquired these images of the lava lake from a pass during the day and also one during the night. Sulfur dioxide emission rates are still elevated. Recent measurements were in the range of 3 to 6,000 tons per day. HVO wrote more about the islands of cooler solidified lava that can be seen floating in the lava lake. They say such islands have been observed in Kilauea lava lakes for more than 100 years. Some of them move around the surface and some do not. Here, the top photograph was taken from the edge of the summit lava lake in January 1917. At the time, the island rose about 65 feet up from the surface and was 330 feet wide in the direction depicted. Below that, a photo of the largest island that is currently in the new lava lake. It's measured at about 820 feet long. On January 1st, the island's edges were about 20 feet above the lava lake surface. A few days later, the whole island had risen by about six to seven feet. The island has been slowly rotating since its formation on the first day of the eruption, but on the evening of January 6th, the island stopped moving. HVO says the apparent buoyancy changes of the island may be due to a density increase in the lava lake as gases escape, or it could be the loss of island material from the subsurface. HVO says it will continue to closely monitor Kilauea volcano seismicity deformation and gas emissions for any changes. It maintains visual surveillance of the summit and the East Rift Zone. The observatory will continue to issue daily updates and additional messages as needed.